Hey, good morning. Uh, I just felt like making a YouTube video today. Um, there's some things I've been wanting to share that I just keep not making time for, and so I'm gonna do them while I'm doing other things that I'm doing because um, I'm doing multitaskable things. Uh, so let's talk about it. Today's little snippet of wisdom I wanted to share is a meditation technique called one-pointed meditation. This is probably the simplest one that I've ever learned. And um, in some ways the most helpful, I think because of how immediately accessible it is, it, I never feel like, um, it never feels too like in, intimidating. There's not a lot of steps involved. Um, here's here's all you do. I'll explain what it is, and I'll explain a little bit of what it helps, and um, and then just encourage you to try it. So here's what I do. I pick a spot that I am going to want to focus on visually, focus on like, and it needs to be one point, like a very specific spot. Right now, I have this pretty like pyramid that I found um I bought but like you know I found it and bought it and uh it, the when when the light comes through it just like has different colors very kind of trippy but I set the pyramid about um two feet two or three feet in front of me and then I choose the top of it to focus on um, then what I do is I set a timer. So I have a Google Home thing and I just say, hey Google, set a timer for five minutes. It says, I have set a timer for you. And I say, thank you. <laughs> and then I just sit there. I find a, a sitting position that will feel comfortable for that duration of time. I sit there. And I just look at that spot for five minutes. You don't you don't want to like blink much. I mean you don't have to just like not blink at all, but try to just keep focused on that point the entire time. Um, there is no other requirement besides that. So you don't need to manage your thoughts. You don't need to, like you can, you can try to monitor what thoughts are coming in. Uh, but like that's not a part of the meditation's requirements. It's literally just pick a spot, set a timer, look at the spot until the timer is done. You don't have to use a timer, but I what I like about it is that um, then I'm not worried about the time, and just when the time is over, that external source will just tell me that it's over, and then I just go on with my day. Um, you can work up from five minutes, but five minutes is a good starting point. Right now, I do six or seven minutes. Um, I think one time I tried like I think one time I tried a fifteen minute one. Um, but I, I kind of, I like the short ones because they feel less intimidating. And I know I can always fit that into my morning routine. Um, lately, I do like keep a journal by me so that afterwards I can write down any thoughts that seemed um, worth, that seemed worth keeping during the thing. I actually will get a lot of thoughts coming in lately that are very like, restorative thoughts I would say like little reminders um, maybe I'll remember something that needs to go on my to-do list or I'll just get like reminders to trust um, it's it's very interesting it's been very peaceful for me lately but no matter what the thoughts are the point of the meditation is to build your will the um, the focus, the ch choosing amount of time and doing only one thing.
like looking at only one spot just primes your minds to be able to be present um it kind of attunes you to the details of your life and just the the practice of doing nothing else for that time it builds your willpower so what that means is you're going to be more present you're going to also be able to like make decisions better you're going to feel more in control of yourself and less like impulsive less, less guided by impulses um and i really i mean it's crazy that doing that for only five minutes makes a difference but it really really does um i see a huge difference in my mental state on the days that i do this um so i'd really encourage you to try it um try to do it in a quiet spot i've chosen a spot in my bedroom i look at that same like pyramid that i was talking about but it's really fun to change up what you what you choose to look at like for example one time i like held a washer just like one of those metal round washers i just like held it in my hand and stared through the through the hole of it for those five minutes and something about the like looking at nothing like looking at a hole like focusing on the nothing the negative space something about that meditation was particularly memorable for me so you'll find that what you choose as your one point um might affect your your meditation never really in a bad way i don't think that there's i don't think that you could choose a bad thing i really don't i think anything that you choose to focus on is going to be a win <laughs> for you so uh i hope that explained it well enough um i encourage you to try it and if you do uh please let me know in the comments what it was like for you uh especially if you choose to do it for like um like daily for a week or something let me know overall if that has added to your life at all or if it hasn't if like this just does nothing for me um i would be surprised if it did nothing but i also would like to know so yep just wanted to share that with you all have a wonderful day i'll talk to you later